Good afternoon, everyone. We're here today to talk to you about education abroad at CSU. By the end of the presentation, you'll know the what, why, when, where, and how of education abroad for your college. Before we start, I'm gonna read the CSU land acknowledgement. Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other native tribes. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is founded as a land grant institution, and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion, and significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the, is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. My name is Amy Jones, she, her, hers pronouns, and I'm the Director of Education Abroad at Colorado State University. Before we jump into the presentation, I wanna dispel some myths about education abroad. First things first, an education abroad should not delay your graduation. In fact, with good planning, it will enhance your degree, help you graduate on time, and in some cases, maybe even graduate early. Second, there is the myth that education abroad is more expensive than, course, than courses and living here at CSU and in Fort Collins. There are expensive programs, but many are similar in price to CSU and a semester in Fort Collins, and some are less expensive. Third, if you start early and talk to your academic advisor about going abroad, you will be able to fulfill course requirements to go abroad. This could be courses required for your major or electives. We recommend getting started early. Our risk management team has certainly been bu had, had busy time since the pandemic. We have an international risk manager that constantly monitors and communicates some of the challenges or risks students may face while they are abroad. By working together, we can foster safe and successful experiences. On this slide, you will see a quick snapshot of where students are going in the College of Agricultural Sciences. Currently, the top destinations for travel are New Zealand, Italy, the Bahamas, and Honduras. You'll also see an overview by department of the number of students that have gone abroad over the last five years. Nearly every CSU department now has approved a recommended programs abroad list. We created these lists in partnership with the academic departments. This list is just a start, but you can be confident if a program is on the list, there are multiple courses that could fulfill your degree requirements. As always, be sure to communicate with your academic advisor about your academic needs. I'm gonna give an overview now of some of the programs that are listed on the recommended programs list. First is a CSU Exchange University. This is Lincoln University, New Zealand. The College of Agriculture offers a faculty supported program through Lincoln University every spring semester, where a CSU faculty member from the College of Agricultural Science goes to New Zealand for the semester to assist students while they're there, conduct research and do guest lectures. Lincoln University, is located in Christchurch, New Zealand, or 25 minutes outside of Christchurch. English is the native language. Or English is, oh, sorry, sorry about that. Um, English is the most common spoken language in New Zealand. Housing is offered on campus, as well as homestay options and off-campus apartments. 
Fun facts. The university enjoys a rural setting less than 30 minutes from Christchurch, the biggest city in the South, in the South Island of New Zealand. Outdoor activities are a major part of life here. And Lincoln is perfect for students interested in hiking, backpacking, fly fishing, biking, boating, and more. There are national parks, fjords, rivers, coastal nature reserves, glacier rainforests, mountains, and more to explore. Food and resource economics in Italy is offered through the Agricultural and Resource Economics Department. This program offers six credits from CSU directly and seven transfer credits. Three CSU faculties attend and lead this program abroad as well and teach the courses during the fall term. This program is located in Florence, Italy. Let's see here. Coursework will be, all of the coursework will be enriched by excursions to various cities outside of Florence, where you will visit and tour the a balsamic vinegar facility, as well as other cultural activities. Perpon is located in Toulouse, France, and is a summer exchange. The Perpon summer program gives students the opportunity to study agriculture and food science or viticulture with other students with similar interests from all over the world. Students begin the program by taking courses in Toulouse while doing experiential learning and field trips like visiting a vineyard, learning about cheese processing by doing, visit it, by doing it, and visiting the campus farm and more. There are also excursions on the weekends like hiking in the Pyrenees Mountains. After studying in the classroom and going on field trips, students then have the unique opportunity to do a four-week internship program on a farm or in a related business like a vineyard, winery, cheese making farm, donkey farm, etc. This allows you to have a one in a lifetime experience living and working with a host family on the farm and learning more about their culture and how they view life and work. Earth University is located in Costa Rica on eight acres of farming and forest land owned by the university. The program primarily takes place on the campus grounds, but also includes day and overnight excursions. Major, this program has a major focus on sustainable agriculture. Costa Rica is world renowned for its efforts in conservation and sustainability. Their coffee industry is a prime example of how sustainable agriculture can be scaled and supported through other industries such as tourism. This program offered through our partner team is an affiliated program. It is located in Seoul, South Korea and offers many classes taught in English. On-campus housing or off-campus apartments are available. Korea University was founded in 1905 and is one of Korea's oldest, largest, and top-ranked universities, known as the Ivy League private school in the country. Korea University is a world-class institution featuring a dynamic educational environment, beautiful and conveniently located campus, and top-quality student facilities. It prides itself not only in being a progressive and globally conscious institution, offering a rich variety of courses in STEM, liberal arts, and science, but also one that plays a role in preserving and developing Korea's unique culture. The School for Field Studies in Bhutan offers, a, offers coursework on the Himalayan environment and society in transition. This program offers a unique opportunity to visit a less visited destination while doing experiential learning with experts in the field. Earn CSU credits or transfer credits from abroad. One of the biggest questions we get is about how credits work. This question depends on the type of program you are on, but we are here to help you work through the process. CSU offers over 100 programs that give students direct CSU credit. Students can easily see if the credits will work through their degrees. 
For transfer credits, there are two steps in ensuring credits will work for your degree. First, you have to have your coursework reviewed by the registrar's office. They will determine how many credits each course is worth and if it will be for upper or lower division credits. Second, your academic department will determine how the coursework will fulfill your degree requirements. With these approvals, you will know if these credits will keep you on track for graduation in a timely manner. Once you've decided on a program, your Education Abroad Coordinator will advise you on the next steps. Here is an example of the transfer credit form. So you'll see here where the, you put in your student information and then it lists steps one through seven of how to complete the form. You'll see on step four, there's a specific website where you will upload this form as well as course descriptions and syllabi for each course that you list on the form. There are several other professionals who will advise you as you prepare for your experience abroad. We are all working together to make sure your questions and needs are addressed. Did you know that the majority of your scholarships, grants, loans, and financial aid can go with you abroad? To learn more, um, you can visit with a financial aid advisor for education abroad. They offer advising appointments each week and can be scheduled through Navigate by visiting the Contact Education Abroad website or by emailing them to set up a different appointment time. We also offer Education Abroad scholarships through the Education Abroad Common Application. We have an upcoming deadline of October 1st. Anyone who is planning to apply for a program that begins from November 2022 through September 2023 are eligible to apply for, through the scholarship application. Next steps. Plan out what classes you need to graduate. Visit our Start Here page. Research your programs online. Visit us during open advising hours. Make an appointment with a financial aid counselor for education abroad and apply for programs and scholarships. Our open advising hours are offered Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, where an education abroad coordinator is available to meet with you in person or via Zoom. We also have peer advisors in the office who are available Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can visit this advising link, or you can visit this website listed here to find out more details. And you can see we're located right here on the oval. All right, and that ends our presentation. I don't see any questions, so we're going to go ahead and end for today. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.